So in Ultimate Team today, EA dropped a flashback Kevin De Bruyne and I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this in the comments. What do you guys make of them dropping silver special items at this stage of the game? Um, anyway, obviously going to try this card out today, but I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on this review. Now we're actually going to try this guy out in Rivals because I feel like that's a good mix because I don't think people are going to use these silver cards too much in Champs and I think a lot of people will use them in Silver Stars, but you get so many 1-0 Rage Quits in Silver Stars so we're going to review him in Rivals I feel like that is probably the fairest balance if you want me to do these reviews though in Champs uh, do let me know in the comments anyway to get this guy you do have to submit an 82 rated squad with an inform and a Belgian and that will get you this flashback Kevin De Bruyne in your club it does look like you know a pretty good card for a silver obviously in fact it looks like a brilliant card for a silver but in this video today we're going to find out how this item fares against Gold teams, can it compete with the best? If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. Also, apologies once more for the commentary. I am still pretty ill, and it's very, very frustrating that this thing just won't pass. Well, ironically, it's going to be really easy for me to make a team around KDB because his normal card is in my current team. So let's just put the brand new one in, and uh, boom, we have a team ready for him. Let's have a look at the card then. What do we have? Five-star weak foot, obviously massive positive on any item. Four-star skills, high high wear crits just like the non-in-form. To be fair, pretty good pace, which is what we like to see on a midfielder, and the shot power and long shots are also really, really nice as well. And the distribution stats are also up to a good standard, as you would expect from any KDB item. Um, he's dribbling, also not too bad. High reactions of 89, good ball control also of 89, and the physicals, they're pretty average overall, to be fair. According to Footbeam, Kevin De Bruyne is coming in at 25k and just before we talk about chem styles, here's just a quick comparison versus the normal version of him. So obviously, um, every area of this card is worse than the non-inform apart from the pace, which, you know, is pretty, pretty interesting. To be fair, versus the non-inform, the downgrades aren't actually as bad as I first thought, but obviously in some areas they are definitely noticeable. Like the dribbling is still not far off to be honest, but the passing and shooting are quite significantly far off and also in defending as well. So yeah, there is that. With a basic though, you do actually get this card to be pretty high rated as you can see. And with other chem styles, you can also get some pretty good ratings. Artist, as you saw, um, sorry, Deadeye brings him up to 91 and I don't think you're going to get him too much higher than that. In terms of what you're going to put on him in game, I'd probably recommend Engine just because of the dribbling boost that it does provide. Makes his pace really nice and uh, brings his passing up a good amount too. Alright then, on De Bruyne's debut, he's ironically up against a 92 rated version of himself. So yeah, let's see how we get on. Chance to distribute. Really, ah, oh, oh. Ooh. That ended up being a much better ball than it should have, but I feel like that's more down to the gameplay being weird than anything else. Renter. Finds KDB on the edge of the box, strikes and scores. What a great start for the Bruyne in the club. And following that goal, we got an instant rage quit. Well, wow, that was quick. What do I rate De Bruyne after game one? 10 out of 10. Because he touched the ball twice, one ended up being a good through ball, and the other touch ended up hitting the back of the net. But in all seriousness, yeah, nice goal, but other than that, uh, obviously not much of a test in that game. Swiftly into game two we go then, and this time hopefully we're going to get a bit more of a test, you know. Hopefully the game will last for more than two minutes. Let's do this. Right, let's switch player. Ball's whipped up to Kieran Trippier, who's going to get down the wing, whip the ball into the box. Creates a good chance, but sadly not going to win that header against Marquinhos. Nice through ball there from the Belgian. Nice chance. Oh, he scored! How has that gone in? How has that actually gone in? What a great goal from the Bruyne that is. Right into the corner, out of the keeper's reach. Love to see it. Oh, what a strike! What a strike! The lack of commentary there was down to just pure concentration. But what a goal! The guy is scoring bangers for me. He really, really is. Love to see it. Okay then, we reached the half-time mark and we are 3-1 to the good thanks to uh, two bangers from uh, De Bruyne. 
Nice left footed pass. As a forward link up. Chance from distance. We'll go for it. Oh, what a strike. I mean, I'm scoring goals easier from outside the box than I am inside the box tonight. Just timing them to perfection. And following that strike, we get a nice rage quit. So, uh, yeah, we are just scoring bangers tonight. Love to see that. G3 then. And we are up against a midfield of David Silva and Icon Haji. Nice. Let's go. Just find that runner. Put it into Griezmann, who's going to slide it through for Origi, but sadly didn't control it as cleanly as we, we would have liked. Don't give him space on the edge of the box. Oh, he's... What is going on? Every long shot's going in. Like, that one shouldn't have. The keeper got his hands to it and he's still going in the back of the net. I was literally about to say, don't give him space on the edge of the box or he'll score. How has that actually gone in? How has his keeper not saved that? Oh, I mean, I just wish that didn't get blocked because I bet it had gone in. All right then, all square at the break at 1-1. Not a bad first 45 at all. Not far off. I mean, it's so tempted to take off a shot with him lately because everything just seems to be going in. Like, any time I've got space, I'm like, you know what? It's time to shoot. Switch play, I think. Nice whipped through ball there into Rodrigo. Go for a cross very early on. Get the header and take the lead. Really, really good move that. Very smooth attacking move. De Bruyne to the winger. The winger into the box. And the ball in the back of the net. Nice. Oh, I was going to say good defensive work, but the tackle, although the tackle is good the ball unfortunately bounced to the opposition nice he's on side he's going to keep that in as well, oh that's a shame if we just missed out that man we had a free shot at goal did well to get the ball out of his feet there nice <laughs> nice block there nice tackle there oh what, really? that seems harsh for a foul, I thought he got the ball first Great play from Origi, and he links up very, very nicely with his Belgian teammate, De Bruyne, to put us back ahead. That was actually a really well worked goal. All right, full time in this one. Unfortunately, finished in a draw. I made a really, really stupid error with my goalkeeper, and it's completely my fault. It is what it is. Nonetheless, though, um, our silver midfielder, once again, had a pretty good game, finding the back of the net twice, and ending up being the star of the match out of both sides completely. So... Yeah, doing pretty well. Okay then, a few games done with the flashback KDB. What did we make of this 74 rated item? Well, as you can see, he's coming away with a pretty positive record. A record which a lot of, goal, uh, a lot of strikers sorry, would be happy with. Obviously, no assists might be a bit concerning to some, but he was involved indirectly with a lot of goals, and you'll see that in the footage. So that's not something that bothers me too much that he didn't get any direct assists. But in the build-up to some of the other goals, as you saw in the footage, he was heavily involved involved so I'm really really happy with his record over the course of the games that he played um so let's break things down what did I make of this card I'll say straight away yeah he can hold his own amongst gold items and um, obviously he comes with a 74 rating which is that of a silver but his in-game stats are definitely not that of a silver and uh, we saw that especially when we spoke about chem styles at the start with him having the stats of a 90 rated cam with a basic chem style on him so yeah definitely has the stats of a gold and you can definitely feel that in game as well so what did we like about the item and um, pace felt quite nice for a midfielder is he super rapid no but is he quick enough absolutely and um, goal scoring ability was very good especially from distance and you saw that over and over and over again I don't know what was going on tonight but pretty much like 80% of the long shots I was taking were hitting the back of the net which was just absurd and um, passing obviously feels quite nice on this card is it you know elite top tier no but it's not far off either. He's got some really good passing stats. And with that combined with a five-star weak foot, it does make him a very good passer of the ball. In regards to his dribbling, I like his ball control. Um, but I will say the agility just isn't quite that great versus some of the top-tier uh, dribbling midfielders. But it's certainly not bad. So we can't knock that too much. Defensively, he's okay for his role. Um, definitely wouldn't use him as, you know, a D uh, like a, a CDM. But um, for a first centre mid, his tackling isn't too bad. And you saw that he got involved a lot in the footage as well. So I, I guess his defending isn't that bad, considering he is technically an attacking player. Um, and then finally, physically, just average, to be honest. Um, that'll come as a surprise to no one after seeing the stats. But all in all, 
I do think it's a very good card, and I do think it's a card that's much better than its overall suggest as well. So, yeah, a, a pr pretty good pretty good card. I, I enjoyed using him, and obviously the goals that he scored definitely helped with that. So, all in all, I think it's a card worth doing, and I'll say this, um, obviously we've seen in the footage he can, you know, more than hold his own against gold items, he's absolutely going to destroy silver items, so if there is, you know, a silver only game mode, this guy is going to be a really, really premium midfield option, like this guy was destroying gold goalkeepers with long shots, imagine what he'll do to silver goalkeepers with those long shots, they're all going to fly in, so yeah, if if you're a fan of obviously the silver game modes, it's a must have in my opinion. Guys, those are my thoughts on the flashback Kevin De Bruyne, hope you've enjoyed the video, if you have, please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below, let me know your thoughts, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in